How do you create and manage a sales pipeline? Sales pipelines are valuable for sales representatives to manage their leads throughout the entire sales process, from qualification to close. We've created a sales pipeline spreadsheet that lets you customize your process, manage your lead funnel, visualize your pipeline with a Kanban visualization, and monitor your team with a dashboard. You can download and customize this spreadsheet to manage your sales pipeline and follow all of your sales from qualification to close. Let's now review how this spreadsheet works and how you can use it to save hours of work as you manage your sales funnel. First, the user will go to the Fields tab to input their sales pipeline preferences. Input your static inputs like your sales report name, year, company name, and the event you're tracking. In most cases, this will be sales, leads, or however you refer to it internally. Then choose the pipeline data formatting, including preferred currency and date formats, as in how you prefer your date displayed, not your preferred format of date night. Now, two input sections impact the look of the rest of the pipeline, the pipeline display and the input fields. The pipeline display indicates what lead information to be displayed on the pipeline. Anything checked in these boxes will appear on the pipeline visualization. The input fields indicate the stages of your sales funnel, unique to each sales team, as well as the status of a given lead and the sales rep in your company. Keep in mind the stage and status fields are capped at 15 inputs, so choose your most important stages or lead status. Up to 120 sales reps can be added, but if you need more, simply add new rows below. But the question you should really be asking yourself is how many sales reps is too many? Is everyone really pulling their weight? I mean, even Tony? The sloth? <laughs> now that you've established all your customizations, it's time to input your leads. Go to the sales funnel where all lead and prospective customer information can be added. Make sure to include all relevant data, including the status of the lead, the stage of the lead, and their priority level, as these inputs will be important to the pipeline and dashboard. When you enter the sales deal value and commission, if applicable, the commission amount will be automatically generated. And any notes about that particular lead can be added in the rightmost column. While sales managers and reps will use the pipeline and dashboard to keep track of their funnels, both will need to adjust the status of leads as they progress through the pipeline. So remember to come back here to update and manage the status and stage of each active lead. Now, with all your leads placed in your funnel and all your customization fields set, you can go to the pipeline and view the visual version of your funnel. Filters at the top allow reps and managers alike to filter leads by date, by deal value, by deal priority, and by status, so that every aspect of the funnel can be managed at a macro and micro level. To filter by date, simply double-click the calendar fields and you'll be able to easily select a date from the dropdown. Remember, if you like our sales pipeline spreadsheet, you can download and customize it for your own sales team now. If it's easier, each sales rep can create their own copy of this sheet to manage their funnel separately. They just have to make sure to share their individual lead data with the sales manager at various checkpoints so the manager can view everyone's data in the one place. Now, let's say the manager or individual reps are working off the same sheet. Everyone can go to the sales dashboard to view the most important metrics for their sales team. First, filter inputs at the top allow you to sort your data by month, stage, rep, or status. A sales overview counts the overall deal value of the last three months, while sales by month shows all of the sales of the last year. The sales by status charts first count how many sales from the filtered data are either one, lost, open, on hold, or whatever other status you attribute to your customized funnel. The chart below counts the deal value of leads across each status based on the filter data. The opportunities versus one sales chart counts how many opportunities resulted in one sales over the last year and the last week. 
The sales by stages section counts how many sales have reached each relevant stage of the sales pipeline for the given filter parameters. And the chart below tracks how many total sales by deal volume are there across each of your sales pipeline stages, again, based on the filter inputs above. Finally, the top five sales rep section tracks what every manager and rep wants to know, who the top five sales reps are for a given period. The reps are sorted by total sales volume, but also count the number of sales leads and their average sales amount. If any of this data or calculations need to be edited or assessed, simply unhide the analysis tab and you can look at all the calculations there. Sales pipelines are valuable tools for reps and managers alike. When everyone has the same access and visibility to data on an easy to read pipeline, estimated revenues are more accurate, managers can better plan ahead, and reps can better manage their individual funnels to win more deals. Remember, you can download and customize the sales pipeline spreadsheet for your own sales team. Now, go watch our video on the top five tech sales strategies and tools for additional insights and resources to help manage your sales team. Thank you so much for watching.